It's either a bill or past due. This part of town's run by a man named Tony D'Orazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted, and the rest of the hotel's crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now, and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. He took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and lawn to lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. Really? Shrimp. What you call me? I Shrimp. have a subscription. for me. The name's Lenny Davis. I work in the city clerk's office and your friend said you could help with this guy blackmailing me. What kind of juice makes you someone worth blackmailing? My office approves new projects under development. I... I fucked up. Cheated on my wife and this guy, Jimmy Kavar, filmed it. Come to find out the girl worked for Kavar too. And now he owns you. He's forcing me to rubber stamp phony building projects and cash the checks for his company, Kavar Construction. Probably seen the signs over where they're building the new city hall. Thing is, Caval doesn't really come around unless there's a problem. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at causing people problems. Some of his men hang out around downtown. Look, I ain't a bad guy. I just made a mistake is all. Keep your head down, Lenny. I'll pay Caval's men a visit. See what they know. Kavar called. He's at the City Hall construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. 
He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag, get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this will all be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. Kavazwi. We went. Gonna find you, cocksucker. Look over there. Levy at him! Tony D is gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worrying about the wrong man, Jimmy. I you think the reporter? You are... Harold Colley. That's Hadler. I'm covering Dorazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses debt drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man. And his little blackmail stash. The people... Oh, God! You're gonna tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. The boss is running things out of the Imperial Bath Hell Spa. He's keeping the politicians in line with dirty pictures he got stashed there. Can't trust a fucking rat. Rip off Mr. Durazio. I'm sorry! Tell Mr. Durazio I did anything to make it right! Anything! Oh, anything? Try flying, you sticky-fingered piece of shit! Is. But if it's all right, then he's right. Then again. You getting it? Ask ah! This go down! Spotted him! Get out of here! Somebody in the Got a beat on him! Oh, I'll walk to the valley of the shadow. Oh, get to whatever he pleases. Lord, get out of here. Nobody seen him? Get back oh, shit. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. 